Howdy, Kev. Eli's calling a board meeting. I'll head back to the barn. Okay, we got the name, we got the space, we got the logo, we got the employees. And we got the fucking money. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Which means there's one thing left to do. How do we make a statement? Well, uh, we just robbed a money train and killed Sergio in a particularly horrific fashion. Oh, so you ripped out Sergio's heart. I was there for moral support. It doesn't matter, because word on the street is that the Nawali was a one-man wrecking crew. The Saints didn't get any shine from the heist. So, we're gonna need something that establishes us as an institution. All right, so we need to do something that says, we're not going anywhere, come at us. Exactly. We steal the Hummingbird Codex. Marshall wanted to protect it. Panteros and the Idols wanted to steal it. And if it wasn't for that fucking book, we wouldn't have formed the Saints. It should be ours. I like it. How do we do it? I mean... I figured we'd just go in with a bunch of guns and kill the shit out of everybody. But if we want to do some heist movie stuff, I can work with that. Yeah, That's cool. guns work. Sounds good. So, the idols hide their stolen stuff in an abandoned boat shop? Under the boat shop. They've got stash houses all over the city. I figure the Codex is probably there because it's closest to the museum. And it's practically next door to us? I know. Stealing the Codex is going to be the easiest statement we ever made. Hells yeah! On assholes, we're here to steal back the codex you stole after it was stolen from other people. are here to steal your shit. Is a door. 
And it's clear sailing from here to there. Let's go get it! Lock this in. Congratulations on proving your own predictability. Don't predict. <laughs> That's not the codex, it's another fake. And a bomb. It's okay, I can disarm this. Probably. Marshal training, Marshal training. Got it. Oh, those fuckers almost fucked us up. Then we better fuck him up twice as much to make our stay. You mean find the Codex and bust some serious heads? Hells yeah. I don't think the bomb went off. So we do this the fun way. Take them down! So good I surprised myself. in here where would they have taken it they didn't just move the codex they emptied this whole place so how do you empty a boathouse of course the collective's yacht it's like their hq i bet they transferred everything there and that's where we're going next there's some jet skis out back we can grab one of those the idols won't shoot at their own jet skis this is going to be an epic statement that yacht's guarded AF. Dude, did you just say AF? Yeah, it's an abbreviation. First, we fucking swear all the time. Second, it's only an abbreviation when you text. AF. As. Fuck. Same number of syllables, dumbass. Okay, fine. This is gonna be an epic statement because that yacht is guarded as fuck. And every damn one of them is gonna learn what happens when you try to blow up the sink. Hells yeah! That one had to hurt. We're gonna want a different way back. It sucked to get the codex wet. Don't fret. Call home for a ride. Hey, Nina, can you send a helicopter to pick us up from the Collective's yacht? Are you two crazy? <laughs> Let me see who I can find. We can use those ramps to get onto the yacht. Safe here. Take cover. Taking cover! 
We're here to take what we want. Just like you used to. Flashbacker! Ah! Y'all tell everybody the Saints took your prize. Hey boss, Nina sent me with the chopper. I'll just hover over till you're ready to go. Make our stake. I'm getting really tired of defusing these things. Cut the pink wire. Got it. Fucking fucks. They nearly blew us up again. I say we return the fucking favor. Hells yeah. I got the codex. Let's get this bomb to the bridge. It's hot. Hoof it. Ha! <laughs> we got the Codex, planted a bomb, and are gonna get away clean on our own helicopter. Now that's a state. Hey, Kev, do we just trap ourselves on a boat with a live bomb and a bunch of angry idols? Hell, yeah. Huh. I'm gonna stuff your helmet, <coughs> hang it on my wall. Six collective members down. We should probably get out of here before our bomb blows up. Reckon so. Ah, shit. 
Holy shit. Just keep your head down and run. Don't get too close to the flames and you'll be fine. Let's grab that speedboat. Shove the codex in the watertight compartment. I'll drive. <sighs> Things got a little cuckoo over there. Seriously. Why does stuff like that keep happening to us? I don't know. Prison riots, derailing trains. It's almost enough to make you question your whole way of... Look out! Idols on jet skis with machine guns! Let's fuck them up! Hells yeah! I'm gonna head for home. You give them a reason not to follow us. Own AF, losers! Oh. I'm so good, I surprised myself. <laughs> Woohoo! Assholes. Should have stayed home with Mama. You still haven't learned not to fuck with the Saints? I'm gonna take a jump. Now, so what were we saying? Huh? When? Just now, before the jet skis and stuff. Um, probably that we were awesome. Stole the codex and fucked up the collective HQ. Yeah, I'm sure that was it. Talk about a goddamn statement. Hells yeah, partner. Hells yeah. messes with the Saints? No one! I said, who messes with the Saints? No one! You're goddamn right, no one. The Saints aren't a flash in the pan. We're here to stay. The four of us founded the Saints, but it belongs to all of us. It belongs to anyone who dreams of making something of themselves and are fucking tired of the world trying to hold them back. Life is hard enough without having to deal with middle managers with no discernible talent telling you how to do your job. Without having to deal with assholes who've had every opportunity handed to them, but never had to fucking work for a single one of them. Without being told that your time will come, you just have to wait. Be patient. Well, let me tell you something. We're fucking done waiting. We all did the work. Now it's time for us to reap the benefits. Kev, I think it's time you throw us a hell of a party. Setting up for the party. 
The word on the street is the idols are in total disarray now that we've blown up their yacht. Them anarchists are in a state of chaos, eh? Who'd have seen that coming? Looks like they've mostly gone to ground. For now, anyway. Might be a good time to move in on their turf. Hey, Kev just showed up with the party supplies. Wanna lend a hand with decorating? Sure. How can I say no to streamers? Do you think we have enough crate paper? Come again? Crate paper. Do we have enough? <laughs> it's crepe paper with a P. Really? Yeah, really. Sorry, folks. Party's over. Who the fuck are you? Chet Drummond, General Counsel. The Saints are now a wholly owned subsidiary of Marshall Defense Industries. Ha! <laughs> uh, no. The employment agreement you signed when we hired you contained a non-compete clause. I signed a lot of shit. I didn't actually read it. Not our problem. By attacking Marshall interests, to wit, the Frontier Prison, our cargo train, and various other assets, you became a competitor. So, what's your fucking point? Pursuant to Article 9, Section 12, Paragraph 36A, you have surrendered all rights and ownership of the Saints to us. Eli? Oh my god, he's right. Of course I'm right. I wrote the fine print myself. You are aware that didn't solve the issue, right? Yeah, but he was being a dick. Atticus thinks we're gonna roll over while he takes what we built? Fuck that. I'm declaring all-out war on that asshole. Hell yeah! It's a revolution! I'll rally the troops. Tell everyone to meet us there. You know Marshall won't fight this kind of war. They'll fight a war of red tape. We need to think this out. I have thought it out. I'm gonna fucking kill Atticus. Saw that coming. But that won't solve our problem. It'll solve my anger. This is a binding legal document. You can't just shoot your way through it. Maybe we try using our words this time. Fine. I'll call Atticus and tell him why I'm going to fucking kill him. A step in the right direction. Called Marshall Defense Industries. Please listen to the menu options as they have recently changed. What do I press to speak to a person? For customer service, press 1. For billing, press 2. For the complaints department, press 3. Finally. All of our operators are currently busy. To leave a callback number, press 1. To leave a message, press 2. To leave a death threat, press 3. Fuck you. 3. Sorry, that inbox is full. Goodbye. Untried words. Back to murder. Murder can't solve everything. You shut your mouth. I'm just saying we'll need to use our heads to get out of this one. This is more complicated than our usual shit. Look, let's just kill Atticus first so everyone can calm down and then you can think of a real solution. Sounds like a win-win. You know, except for Atticus. But fuck him. Am I right? Wow, you know you two are being enablers right now. Like the gang's all here. We're here. Let's bust in and make our way to the top floor. That's where shithead's office is. Bullets don't cut red tape.
grenades don't belong to you. Give us our criminal empire back! You didn't get the memo! We own you! Look what you're shooting! The saints can't be owned, assholes! Atticus, you dumb bitch! Come down here and fight me! Much as I love to see Atticus fight his own battles for once, that is not a sign. Then we take the elevator straight to him. Reloading! Ah! 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 I'll stay here with the crew and hold off any reinforcements. Copy that. Stay safe. Ah! I don't know what to do to Atticus first. Punch him in the face or kneecap him? You could just shoot him. No, I want to draw this out. Make him feel it, you know? Curb stomping? Kind of a pain to haul him outside. None of that will help our cause. You know that, right? Then what will? We could tie it up in court. In court? We're criminals. Not in Marshall's books. I'm sure they'll list us as a corporate acquisition. Play it right and we could drag this out for years. We ain't waiting years. Except for in this fucking elevator. Seriously, what the fuck? What happened? Why'd we stop? Security locked down. We're hoofing it from here. Welcome to Marshall Defense Industries. What may I help you with? See? Ain't taking years to get through this way. We're not actually getting through. <sighs> Welcome to Marshall Legal. Shit, it's a trap. There's snipers on the upper floor. I should snipe them back. Down to the camp. down. Snipers out. Ah! 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 Ah!
not just tech. Downtime, search the legal files for documents of the acquisition. Welcome to Marshall Research and Development. That one had to hurt. Looks like this elevator is the only way up. So let's go. Key card required. Damn, it's locked. Check the desks. Someone always leaves their key card at work. Why can't I just shoot it? That's not how it works. I told you, you can't just shoot your way through all your problems. Fine. No key card here. Seeing a key card. There is an incoming call from Atticus Marshall. So, did you really think you could just waltz into my building and take your little safe? Nothing here either. Has a key card. See? I told you so. You told me I'd find one in a desk. I had to murder this guy to get it. I guess we're both right. Shall we go? Welcome to the Marshall Executive Floor. Intruders located. Putting them down. Well, shit. Gator, Gator. Pack 
jack he's wearing. It's powering the guns. Back up. Get in here. Oh. There's no target. Eli, I'm coming. Your ivory tower is gonna fall. And shoot the pack. Ready for Atticus's last stand? You go on. I'll see if I can find anything useful in here. Suit yourself. I am coming, motherfucker. Son of a bitch. Wait, Myra Star? Didn't take you long to get up here. You are a plucky one. Where's Atticus? Oh, he turned tail and flew away the second you entered the lobby. I told him this whole Saints business would bite us in the ass, but he never listens. Then give us back the Saints. As chair of the board, I could. Only problem is Atticus holds that title. That man has been a bee in my bonnet for a long time. How about we help each other out? Fine. Tell me where he is and I'll kill him. Now, not so fast. You kill Atticus and his seat on the board will pass to his next of kin, who won't help you. Then I'll kill them too. And then their kin, and then theirs. The Marshall family is large and ornery. They'll never help you. But you help me vote him off the board and I'll scratch your back real good. So, how do we do that? If you make Atticus look bad enough, our company's stock price will tank. Shareholders will panic, and the board will have no choice but to change leadership. That's when I'll take over and give the Saints back to you. All right. You got yourself a deal. <laughs>